Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Looks like, uh, well, it looks like Kepka's gained a shot on John Rahm. John John Rahm's still a little ahead in the Masters. They're on the 17th now, so Kepka's running out of time. Rahm would have to kind of implode a little bit. Anyway, it's been a good Masters, kind of a crazy one, but but it's been pretty exciting. 2021 Tops Chrome Baseball should also be pretty exciting. Full case, 12 boxes, random team break number one, one spot gets you two. All cards ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's double you up like Sir Mix a lot. Nice, there we go. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Three and a one, four times each. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. Uh, Boyd down to Victor. Three and a one, four times for the teams. One. Two, three, and fourth and final time. We got Boston down to New York. All right, so here's how it shakes out for everybody. Boyd with the Red Sox, Dominic with the Diamondbacks, Chris with the Cubs, Victor with the Orioles, Eddie with the Braves, Tristan with the Reds, David with the Rays, Nationals, and Marlins. John with the Phillies, Stephen with the Blue Jays, Tristan with the Padres, Jared with the Brewers, Tristan with the Mariners, Stephen with the Guardians, Eddie with the Rockies, Dominic with the A's, Victor with the White Sox and Twins, Barry with the Tigers, David with the Angels, Victor, you got my Dodgers, Chris with the Cardinals, Boyd with the uh, Rangers, John with the Pirates, Jared with the Giants, Barry with the Astros, Tristan with the Royals, and Victor with the Mets and Yankees. Got the, both uh, New York teams there, Victor. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. TWC trade window closed. So the list you saw remains the same here on Sunday, the 9th, 2023. Easter Sunday. Happy Easter for those of you who celebrate. And Master Sunday. All right, and there's the case of 2021 Topps Chrome. Hobby Edition. Good luck. Looks Kepka finishing at eight under. He was leading a lot of the way, but I think eventually he had some favorable weather conditions during his start times, but man, he looks he looks healthy, he looks good, playing well. But John Rom playing even better. Here it is for par and to win the Masters. Got it. Pumping his fist, hands in the air. Good job, John Rom. Phil Mickelson, too. That was a very surprising finish for Phil. This break might take longer than I thought. <laughs> if every pack's going to be like this. Good job. Congrats to John Rahm.
All right, box one of 12. Here we go. Auto popping early here. We got Josh Fleming. For the Rays. David with the Rays. It'll be for David once again. Each box has two autos per box. And all cards will ship. Some of the main rookies that we're chasing here would be Jazz Chisholm and um, Cabrian Hayes. Be the two main guys that we're looking for. And we've got Josh. Josh Bell. 207 out of 350. Magenta Speckle for Pittsburgh. John Ryder with the Pirates. John Rahm slapping hands through the gallery, making his way to the clubhouse. There's Nick Heath. Royals autograph for Tristan. And we got Marcelo Zuna, 299 for the Braves. Also 405 out of 499. Chad's asking, where's my Sunday red? I opted for uh, for uh, Masters Green Jacket Green is what I'm going with. That's what winners wear, the green jacket. We got some gold here. We got Austin Hayes, 48 out of 50. Victor. Don't tell Ty. Yeah, well, I'm obviously not Tiger Woods. I gotta carve my own path. I don't know if there's any big golf fans out there or Masters fans. I have to say that the Masters app is amazing. All, uh, all sports apps should strive to be like the Masters app. It is pretty good. Just in terms of how they cover the event. I mean, the PGA Tour app, at the very least, should look like that, but it doesn't. It runs, runs pretty smoothly. And it's just a delight, a delight to use. Michael, what's going on? Shoffley and Morik Hala both flipped in the top 10 for you. That's Michael Jaspi in the chat. Often more college slipping. More college didn't have a bad round either. T10 with Xander Shoffley and Matt Fitzpatrick, who had a pretty decent uh, Masters. How about Sam Bennett, the amateur? A top 20 finish here. Chad, you believe uh, I'm better than Tiger? I don't know. Tiger may need to. to to lose the use of his other leg and maybe an arm before uh, before I'm better than uh, before I'm better than Tiger. Oh, oh well, Brooks Kepka helping Michael make a little money. What a crazy Masters. All that weather, just screwing up schedules. See, everyone see the trees falling? 
Oh, just overall? That might be debatable. But I'm in my head, I am. And we got a Padres auto. It's Jorge Mateo. Rookie auto for the Friars. That's going to go to Tristan. There's Bobby Dalbeck, little uh, black and white variation or photo negative variation. And we've got a captain's cloth. Piece of the jersey, Fernando Tatis Jr. And that's going to go to Tristan and the Padres. And poor, poor Tristan McKenzie, speaking of Tristans. He'll be out for a little bit. Here is uh, Edward Olivares, rookie auto gold for the Royals. Tristan and the Royals. Twenty-eight out of fifty. And we got a JD Martinez, thirty out of one ninety-nine. Red Sox edition going to Boyd. Autograph recap at the end of this. I think that relic might might be one per case if I remember correctly. Next box. So, we got uh, John Rahm winning the Masters. Phil Mickelson gaining 18 places today with a six, round 65. Finishing uh, T2 with Brooks Kepka. Jordan Spieth also had a great round today. Patrick Reed, Jordan Spieth, Patrick Reed finished fourth. So did Russell Henley, Cameron Young, T7 with Victor Hovland. But how about Saif Tegala? And he's been a uh, he's been playing some good golf. He's he might he's gonna win a tournament this year at some point. But he might win he might win one of these major things uh, within a, within a within a few years. I want to say. If not sooner, maybe this year. Fitzpatrick, Scotty Scheffler, Xander, Colin Morikawa, all T10. Charles, what's going on? Lamar, yeah, I was asking you that too. Uh, I don't know. Is this, I, I mean, is the Odell Beckham Jr. news a, a pitch to Lamar Jackson? Hey, stay. I think one of Lamar Jackson's sort of criticisms has been not enough. But he's not wrong. Not enough uh, sort of receiver weapons to sort of help him out. Maybe Odell Beckham Jr. is that guy. Maybe that does get Lamar Jackson to stay. Work out a deal for the Ravens. Chad Dawson. Peyton Pritchard dropped a 30-point triple-double today. Is it time to... Who was he playing? 
Is it time to dust off Peyton Pritchard cards? Or was he playing a team that had nothing to play for? We got a Kenta Maeda at 13 out of 99, Green Wave, Minnesota edition. Going to Victor and the Twins. And we got a Prismic Power Eloy Jimenez, 31 out of 99. That looks cool. That's for Victor and the White Sox. And we got a Jonah Heim autograph, rookie auto for the A's. Dominic with the A's. There's a key Brian Hayes rookie card. Got a Luis Robert, 23 out of 25. Another one for Victor and the White Sox. Tradiac, what's up? You see, Eminence is sold out. Did I miss the opening? I don't know, Tradiac. Check the schedule. We always drop the schedule in the chat. And we always mark down what we've done, what we're doing, and what we're going to do. And if it's not sold out on the schedule, we either need to go through orders or there's a filler for it. More often than not, there's a filler for it. So also double check that. Ah, there's a filler for it. Yeah, let's fill up that filler. Let's get that done. Let's get Eminence officially locked in on the schedule. All the full spots are gone. I've canceled as many fillers as I could. Now we're just down to the last filler. Let's make it happen, Eminence basketball fans. Next box. Oh, we got the uh, the green jacket presentation. We got Monty Harrison, rookie autograph for the fish, David with Marlins.
We got a uh, Jake Arietta, 282 out of 350. Speckle for the Phillies. That's for John. And we got Bo Burrows, rookie autograph for the Tigers. That's going to go to Barry. Last ball mojo. And we got a Mike Moustakis, 146 out of 299 for the Reds. Another box. Next box. We got a purple auto. That is uh, Tyler Zuber, 151 out of 250. Rookie auto for the Royals. That's going to go to Tristan, Kansas City. Anthony Rendon, black and white, photo negative. Taylor Jones, rookie autograph for the Astros, Barry. Castillo, 128 out of 150. Reds edition, going to Tristan.
All right, sixth box. There you go, green jacket on John Rahm. Courtesy of Scotty Shuffler. I thought this was going to be, with all that weather they were having, I was like, is, it, is, is a Monday finish a possibility? It seemed like it was going to be, if there was that much rain, but... But no. Let's get a little, uh, little NASCAR on, a little dirt track racing here in Bristol. Pretty eclectic when it comes to stuff I like to watch. I'll go, I'll go from the Masters to a little dirt track racing. Looks like a lot of fun. Oh, got someone spinning out here. Kyle Larson in the lead here. Oh, Keselowski. A little spin out. It's going to happen. Me here. There we go. That was a good pack. All right. Next box. Good luck. And we've got a gold wave. Will Myers, 42 out of 50 for the Padres. I do remember the text being really small this year, so. It's a little difficult. We got uh, Zach Birdie, rookie auto for the White Sox. That's gonna go to Victor. Been some other jazz chisms that I might have missed, but here's here's one of them, David. All all card ships. So if there's any I missed, I'll go to you. Maybe we could find some low number parallels, some variations. That would be nice to see. And we got Andonis Medina. Rookie autograph for John and the Phillies. And we've got a uh, Kwang Hyun Kim. It's 122 out of 199 for St. Louis. That'll go to Chris and the Cardinals. Halfway through this break, got about another 30 minutes or so to go. Good luck. Now we got Get to some baseball scores in a second, but the playoffs, the NBA playoffs are all, I think they're all locked up, right? 
Last game of the season. And it's in the East. From 1 through 10, Bucks, Celtics, Sixers, Cavs, Knicks, Nets. And then your four play-in game teams would be Heat, Hawks, Raptors, and Bulls. I think that order might have been pretty much set. I think there might have been some, a little dispute maybe between six and seven somewhere, but Brooklyn ended up getting the sixth spot with 45 wins. Heat got the seventh seed play-in spot, 44 wins. Hawks and Raptors finished exactly 41 to 41, but Atlanta's in the eighth seed. They must have had some sort of tiebreaker. And Bulls finished five wins ahead of the Pacers for that 10th spot. In the West, it's been Denver. Denver with 53 wins. Grizzlies, two games behind them. Then the Kings, Suns, Clippers, Warriors. Those are your one through six. Seven through 10 will be Lakers, Wolves, T-Wolves, Pelicans, and the Thunder. And the Dallas Mavericks really finishing two and eight in their last 10 to finish with 38 wins on the season out of a playoff spot. Kind of a disappointing season for them when you have the likes of Luka and then adding uh, Kyrie Irving. No defense though on that team, that really hurt him. Thunder, that, that young, exciting Thunder team in the playoffs with 40 wins. That's without Chet Holmgren. This will be really good next year. But they're in. Pelicans are in at 42-40. Uh, he will also have a 40-40 record, but they're ahead of him on some sort of tiebreaker. And Lakers ended up with 30, 43 wins to get that seventh seed. They had a chance maybe to be as high as five, but I think that required the Clippers to lose to the Suns, I want to say, and then the war or the Warriors to lose to Portland, both of which did not happen. But hey, at least at least my Lakers are in the playoffs. We'll see if they can make some noise. If healthy, I think they can in a, a seven-game series. When do the first play-in games happen? Anyone know? We got an angel. We got HMI Jones, rookie auto for the Halos. I think he got, he ended up being, this will still go to Angels, David Duffy, but I think he ended up getting shipped to the Orioles for a bit. And now he's in the Dodgers organization. I think had a couple walk-offs already this early stage of the season. We've got a Dane Dunning to three ninety nine for the Rangers. Would be for Boyd. Another Jazz Chisholm and a rookie autograph coming up. It is Yerman Mercedes. Rookie auto for the White Sox, that'll be for Victor. Remember the crazy start to his career? And we've got a Michael Conforto, 60 out of 99 green wave. Brian Hayes that mid-80s design. Classic. A lot of finals here. I think the only game is Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN. Padres up 4 nothing on the Braves, top of the third, which is not good because I have Dylan Dodd on my uh, fantasy team. That's who's making the start for the Braves tonight. Uh, Diamondbacks beat my Dodgers 11-6. to 
Michael Grove taking the loss. He's also on my fantasy team. Uh, Blue Jays edged out the Angels in over overtime in extra innings, 12 to 11. Giants beat the Royals 3-1. Rockies beat the Nationals 7-6. Rangers beat the Cubs 8-2. Brewers beat the Cardinals 6-1. Astros over the Twins 5-1. The Guardians over the Mariners in extra 7-6. Marlins beat the Mets 7-2. Pirates shutting out the White Sox 1-0. Yankees beat the beat the O's 5-3. Aaron Judge with a couple home runs. Rays uh, beat the uh, one hit the A's, beat them 11 to nothing. Red Sox beat the Tigers four to one. Uh, Reds beat the Phillies six to four. I guess, I guess at this point now we gotta start talking about with the Rays with a nine and zero record. If uh, I think the record is 13 wins to start a season, so it's now it's time to start talking about that. Happy Easter, Johnny. Any movement on that NBA 8 box? I don't know. Johnny, I've been doing this break for the last 40 minutes, so why don't you go to jazbeescasebreaks.com and check the spots left number and let me know uh, Let me know if there, there's been some movement on that, see how many spots are left. Appreciate it. But yeah, that's how you can always check, Johnny. Go to uh, jazbeescasebreaks.com, just monitor the spots left numbers. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier today. Mike Pirates, shortstop O'Neill Cruz fracturing his ankle in a home plate collision, not good. Start a little scuffle too. So that's hashtag not good for the hobby. Saw that news earlier today. That was a bummer. Saw saw the play as well. Not good. There is uh, Masahiro Tanaka, 23 out of 399 for the Yankees. Victor with the Yankees. We got Nick Castellanos, Aqua Wave to 199. And we got a Jonah Heim rookie autograph for the A's. That'll be for Dominic. Got a Bo Burrows rookie autograph for Detroit. Very. There's Tanaka again in that photo negative parallel. Next box. Let's see, in that Red Sox win, Tristan Costas apparently had a solo shot. Kenley Jansen with his second save. Brandon Lowe had a grand slam. Part of that 11 run barrage by the Rays. Who are their next matchups? I mean, it's not like the comp I mean, it's still hard to win nine in a row because there's always a, always a fluke game, especially in the beginning of the season. So it is a pretty hot start. Even though they played three against Detroit, three. 
in Washington and then three versus the A's. And their next four against some tougher competition, it's gonna, they're going to be playing uh, they're going to be playing the Red Sox, who I feel like have been playing some decent baseball. And then the next three after that would be Toronto. So I think if my, someone maybe fact check me on this, but I think the record for most wins to start a season, start a baseball season, is 13. I forget what team it was, but I think it's 13. They'd have to sweep the Red Sox to get that. In Tampa Bay, though. And then they're at Toronto for the next three after that. They red flag the Bristol Rays? And we got a Trevor Rogers rookie autograph for the fish. It's going to go to David. Mike Clevenger for the Padres. That's going to go to Tristan. Another key, Brian Hayes for John and the Pirates. Let's try to find some numbered cards of key, Brian Hayes. Maybe an autograph. 76 out of 399, Miggy, Miguel Cabrera for Barry and the Tigers. Got uh, Joey Gallo, 24 out of 199. Still Rangers edition here in this 2021 set. Going to Boyd. And we got a Zach McKinstry rookie autograph. Former Dodger going to Victor. He's with the Cubs now. And a Ryan Mountcastle refractor. That's for their Victor and the Orioles. All right, three boxes to go. Diego, what's going on? All hail Thrawn, yeah. He made a he made an appearance in the Ahsoka trailer for you Star Wars fans out there. Uh, that series is looking pretty pretty good. I suppose I, I was questioning what this season's Mandalorian was doing. Wasn't really sure. Obviously, there's some. There's a storyline of uniting all the all the different clans, Mandalorian clans. But there wasn't really like a what's the I don't know what's the common and is there a common common enemy? I don't know, but it seems like they're looking to dovetail this season probably into the Ahsoka series, which drops in August. I think we finally got a release date too. That should be pretty exciting. Your summer homework, ladies and gentlemen, is to, uh, for Star Wars fans anyway, is to watch the, is to watch the Star Wars Rebel animated series, which is on Disney Plus. So that should give you a good primer, primer, on what you should expect in the, uh, the Ahsoka series.
because a lot of, a lot of the characters from the Star Wars Rebels series, I think you're going to see in the Ahsoka series. Ah, is that what they're doing? Diego saying one of the new movies is supposed to tie Mando, Boba Fett, and the Ahsoka series all together. I see. Sort of like a MCU kind of universe kind of thing. I could, that's, I could, then I could see, then I could see the Mandalorian current series in a different light. If they're, if that's the end goal. That probably kind of closes the chapter on sort of the Dave Filoni Star Wars universe, which a lot of this stuff from the animated series are looking like they're trying to put a bow on it with the live with live action series. We got Cody Hewer, White Sox for Victor, rookie auto. Well, I suppose it is kind of a Mandalorian's family reunion, in a way, but not really. You got. I think you have to think of it more. Those, those Mandalorian clans is more like the different houses in Game of Thrones. I guess I've never seen Game of Thrones, but that'll be my assumption. But I suppose they could be united under one, one, one ruler. There's Ashton uh, Godot. Waiting for Ashton Godot going to Eddie and the Rockies. That's what I'm thinking too. I think the the movie should end that the Mando storyline. Whenever that may be. Which, yeah, like I was saying, kind of puts the bow on the Dave Filoni Star Wars universe, which which is in a lot of the animated series. Especially Clone Wars and Rebels. Those are those are two to watch. They're pretty cool. They're pretty fun. Very quick episodes. They're twenty minute episodes, I think. Handful of seasons each. It would be nice to see. When, when any idea when that movie is supposed to be out? Or maybe that would. I mean, maybe Dave Filoni and Favreau would have to write it. So maybe they'll do a season or two of Ahsoka. This season of Mandalorian. One more season of Mandalorian. And then maybe the maybe that'll set up the whole. That'll set up the movie. Dawn of Jedi with Days supposed to be around Christmas 2025. That's a ways away.
Rafael Devers, three eighty three out of three ninety nine. And we got Carlos Hernandez. Tristan with the Royals. Got Jordan Weems, 109 out of 499. Refractor autograph for the A's for Dominic. Yeah, like moves aren't a sod, but it's just towards some different eras, right? And then after that, hopefully we can start seeing uh, some new, uh, some some fresh Star Wars stuff as well. Because I know they've been talking like High Republic stuff, which technically, or I, I guess I've heard both. I've heard that they're going to try doing stuff that's, you know, that's like a thousand years before the events of The Phantom Menace. Or I've heard talk about a thousand years ahead. I think it's probably easier to get to. Uh, it's probably easier and more interesting to do a thousand years before. Just keep mining the past. Because there's already a lot of established canon and a lot of established, you know, things, stuff about what the Force can or cannot do and just kind of go the other way. There, there's some really, there's some interesting Star Wars novels. Yeah, Track the Rise of the Sith. This is where, you know, where like the Sith and the Jedi were plentiful and often battling against each other. To see some of that would be pretty cool. Because we've seen individual battles between Jedi and a Sith Lord. We've also seen a lot of Jedi in battle, but that's against battle droids. But think about the visual experience of... Um, but think about the visual experience of seeing dozens of Jedi lightsaber versus dozens of red lightsabers battling against you. I think that would be pretty exciting. Can really lean into a lot of the, the sort of uh, Jedi temple, Sith temple kind of looking for holocrons kind of thing. Could really set that up. Eventually lead to the idea of of the rule of two, which is another another book that explores that situation. Pretty cool. Last box. Final two autographs. Well, there, there's a lot, a lot of fun stuff to mine in the uh, Star Wars universe here. Yeah, I think, uh, wait, which cameo was, like, Zeb? I like seeing Zeb, live action Zeb. Here is a uh, Chadwick Trump rookie autograph for the Giants. That's going to go to Jared. Oh, Christopher Lloyd, yeah, the Doc Brown cameo. And then um, 
Jack Black. And Lizzo. Lizzo? It was Lizzo. And here's Mitch White, rookie auto for the Dodgers. That's for Victor. And that's that. That was 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball, 12 box, hobby edition, random team number one. For one spot, gave you two teams. Here's a quick little re autograph recap. Nothing too monstrous here, but a solid break, solid set of autographs. Keep an eye on all these rookies throughout the season. I guess they're not rookies this year, but from the old seasons. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.